Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel High Love Pharmacology. In today's session, let us learn about immunosuppressant drugs. So these are the specific learning objectives. So at the end of this class, you should be able to define immunosuppressant agents, classify immunosuppressant agents, you should be able to explain the mechanism of action of immunosuppressant agents. You should be able to explain the indications of immunosuppressant agents. And also you should be able to describe the adverse effects caused by immunosuppressant agents. So next, moving on to the basics of immunosuppressant drugs. So immunosuppressant drugs are the one which will going to suppress cellular immune response alone or humoral immune response alone or sometimes it can inhibit both the cellular immune response as well as the humoral immune response. So why we need to study about immunosuppressant drugs because these are the drugs which are used during organ transplantation process to prevent the rejection as well as it has been used in the autoimmune diseases. Next coming to the classification of immunosuppressant drugs. So under immunosuppressant drugs you have calcineurin inhibitors, mTOR inhibitors. mTOR stands for mammalian target of rapamycin. Next you have anti-proliferative drugs. Next you have glucocorticoids. Next we have biological agents. So these are the five broad classes of drugs under immunosuppressant agents. So I'm going to repeat it again. So we have calcineurin inhibitors, mTOR inhibitors, anti-proliferative drugs, glucocorticoids and biological agents. Next let us see which are the drugs comes under calcineurin inhibitors. So under calcineurin inhibitors you have got cyclosporin and tacrolimus. Under mTOR inhibitors you have got sirolimus, everolimus and tam sirolimus. Under anti-proliferative drugs you have got azathioprim, methotrexate, cyclophosphamide, chlorambucil and mycophenolate mofetil. Under glucocorticosteroids you have got prednisolone. Under biological agents again you have a broad varieties of drugs namely tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitors, interleukin 1 receptor antagonist, interleukin 2 receptor antagonist, anti-CD3 antibody and polyclonal antibodies. Next moving on to the biological agents. So what are the examples for the classes under biological agents which can be used as immunosuppressant drugs? So under biological agents we have seen TNF alpha inhibitors that is tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitors. You have got etanercept, infliximab, adalimumab. Next you have interleukin 1 receptor antagonist. Example is anakinra. Next you have interleukin 2 receptor antagonist. Example is basileximab and daclizumab. Next you have got anti-CD3 antibody. The example is muromonab CD3. Next you have got polyclonal antibodies. Under polyclonal antibodies you need to remember two examples. Those are anti-thymocyte antibody that is ATG 
and next is rho d immune globulin so these are the very important biological agents which can act as a immunosuppressant drugs so next coming to the immu immune system responses so let us see how humoral immune responses as well as cell mediated immune responses will be mediating the immunity so we have a macrophage which is the antigen presenting cell so which will be coordinated by the MHC that is major histocompatibility complex so once the antigen binds to the antigen presenting cell this macrophage will going to release the interleukin 1 which helps in the recognition of the CD4 helper T cells to get attached to this APC which has got the antigen so following that so there will be stimulation of CD4 helper T cells with the help of interleukin 1 so once this CD4 helper T cells are stimulated there will be activated CD4 helper T cell formation which will be coordinated by interleukin 2 so on the other hand we can see that antigen will bind to the B cells so following the binding of antigen to the B cells there will be differentiation and proliferation of B cells so this will be leading to the formation of plasma cells which are responsible for the release of antibodies along with that the activated CD or helper T cells will also release the cytokines which will also enhance the differentiation and proliferation of B cells to form plasma cells so these are the plasma cells which are responsible for the release of antibodies so these released antibodies will going to combine with the antigen and it will neutralize the antigen effects so whereas on the other hand when we talk about the cell mediated immune response the antigen will be combining with the macrophage and there will be stimulation of the precursor cytotoxic T lymphocytes and also this activated CD4 helper T cells will going to help in interleukin 2 mediated activation of precursor cytotoxic T lymphocyte to form the activated cytotoxic T lymphocyte and there will be maturation of the cytotoxic T lymphocytes and also for the maturation to take place so the CD4 helper T cells will enhance the maturation of cytotoxic T lymphocytes which in turn combine with the antigen which is released from the foreign cells leading to lysis of the foreign cells. So this was about the mechanism behind the humoral mediated immune response as well as the cell mediated immune response response so in the next class let us learn about the targets which can be identified as a immunosuppressant agents so if you find this video useful please do sub subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology thank you